We're right at the cusp of the fall foraging season here in Pennsylvania, and though I hate to play favorites, I have to say I think it might be my favorite season to forage in. Everything we find in the fall is so substantial, and we find it in such abundance that it really feels like gifts from the world to help us get through the winter. Near our house is an old abandoned golf course that was recently bought by a nature trust that turned it into a beautiful park. We love to go on walks here and see what's popping up. And we got really lucky this week when Jordan found a huge patch of porcini tucked away in a spruce grove. If you haven't had porcini, they're a group of a few different species of edible bolete mushroom that are prized for their sweet, nutty flavor and their dense, meaty texture. As you can see, the bugs and slugs love them too, so it's always exciting when you get to them before they're scarfed up by someone else. We picked our fill and left lots of small ones for future foragers. Since they only come up sporadically, we like to take advantage of finding a big flush like this and preserve them for later. Some mushrooms don't do well dehydrated, but porcini absolutely do. And in fact, that's usually how you'll find them at the grocery store and not for cheap either. I don't know what's going on in the Northeast this year, if it's something with the weather, but it's looking like an amazing season for apples. Every tree we come across, even if they're old, gnarled, half-dead apple trees that we've never seen with fruit before, is absolutely covered in apples. One of them that we checked on in a park last week was so heavy with fruit that it actually snapped one of the large branches. Every wild apple tree is unique with different flavors and different ripening times, so it's good to kind of make your rounds and try them all. Some apple varieties can last for months in storage, but these felt pretty soft and unlikely to store for a long time, so we decided to make them into applesauce. Using a food mill makes it really easy because I don't have to worry about coring or peeling the apples. I just cut off any bad spots and get them soft before putting them through the mill. Always making a mess. Whoop. 
I feel a lot of kinship with the squirrels this time of year, grabbing all the tasty morsels we can wow, find so and storing them for less hospitable days. It's really satisfying putting in the work to preserve all of these ingredients and watching the pantry fill up. Now, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but this is feeling like our best year yet for gardening and foraging. We've already stored up a lot of food, and this is really only the beginning of the harvest season. And walking through our gardens and the woods this time of year, it's so exciting to see everything we'll get to harvest and all the amazing meals to come.